So I'll be doing the mobile setup on the iOS iPhone. Unfortunately, I don't have an Android with me to do it on there, but I will be doing it soon. So go to the App Store, go to search, and type in ZO for Zoipa. And once you see it pop up, just click on it. Then click download. I already had it installed on here and I uninstalled it, that's why you saw that funny um, cloud icon. While it's downloading guys, just hit the like button, it really helps me out. And once it's finished, click the open. And then you'll get all these pop-ups asking you if you want to allow, just keep hitting allow and OK. Because you do want to allow it to look at your contacts, microphone, except this bit here. You don't need to pay for the push notifications, so just click on do not allow. Do not show, sorry. Unless you do want to buy the license. If you do want to buy it, then click subscribe. Otherwise, click do not show. Okay, so once you're in, down the bottom, click settings, then accounts, then hit that plus sign at the top. And it says, do you already have a username and password? Hit yes. And manual config. And SIP account. And you enter the SIP credentials you can see in the notepad in the background there. Like so. So account name can be anything. I just named it test account. Got to make sure there's no typos as well guys, obviously. After you do all this and it doesn't work, I suggest coming back here and re-entering everything. Most likely you've done a typo somewhere, especially in the password because you can't actually see it when you type it in. Password. Now I just noticed it's quite strange. The I did type the password in there, but with the iPhone screen recording, it didn't record the password, but you, we can see it as blank here, but it, I, I did type it in, so just let's not get confused with that. So there is a password in there, it's just the iPhone screen sharing security, I guess, didn't let it um, show up, even though they come up as dots. And then in the caller ID field, you just put in the phone number in again. Then you hit register up the top. And you can see in orange it says registering. Then okay, now it says okay, so it's registered. So up the top, click accounts, stat uh, settings, sorry, and down the bottom, hit the dial pad, and it says ready at the top. So now when you open up the app, you just got to wait until it says ready in green, uh, and then you'll be ready to make a call. All right, so let's make a test call. So if you just dial any number, call. If I answer that, you can press the mute button if you want to put it on mute. Press it on hold if you want to put it on hold. Okay. Call stats gives you a few bit of stats on the current call you're on. If you're into that, put the call on speakerphone. Okay. Oh, low battery. Sorry about that. Okay, um, so you have the mute option, like I mentioned, keypad option, in case you need to press any options in an auto attendant. Okay, so they're the limited options you get with the free license. You can't transfer or conference call in or call record, you'll need the permanent license for that. After your first call, you'll get that warning asking you, did you have audio? If you did, just disregard it. If you did not, click the visit. It'll take you over to this web page to troubleshoot the audio issue that you might have before you call your, your carrier. So it's a good idea to go through all these settings just to make sure it's not your phone. So we'll go back to the app. So down the bottom you'll see you've got your contacts on your phone. So you can call directly from the app. And history. So whatever, whoever you've called in the past. And also settings. Okay. If you do wish to purchase anything in the future, you can click on premium features and you can see the price in there. Basically, you just click on it and follow the prompts. 
I think even if you want to activate video, you might need the premium license. I'm not quite sure. Uh, let's go back to premium features. I can't technically see it say video there. Ah, yes, H.264 video codec. Yes, you do need the premium license. So you need that 599 license there if you want to use video. Okay, I wonder if we can add a second account on this. Good. Yes, we do have a password. Manual. Zip. Register. Seems like you can. I don't have another one to do, so we'll just uh, get out of it. Thank you for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, or share. Fact: If you browse to how old is the inter.net, you can determine how many days the internet has existed and how old you were when it initially launched. Goodbye.